Hello everyone, welcome to Botan Option channel for the UPSC examination. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper number 2. In the previous video, we have discussed the paper number 1. And now we are going to see the UPSC Mains 2018 Botany Optionals second paper. Alright. Now, again there are some instructions. The instructions are pretty similar with the paper 1. That is, there are total 8 questions out of divided into the 2 sections and printed in Hindi and English language. Out of these 8 questions, you have to attempt only 5 questions. And out of them, question number 1 and question number 5 are compulsory. And from remaining 6, you have to attempt the remaining 3, 1 from each section. Alright. The number of marks are indicated against the question. And you should write the answer in the medium uh, which is authorized on your admission certificate. Alright. And the word limits in the question when your specified should be added to. That is, you have to add it to the word limit provided. Alright. Then diagram figures whenever required may be drawn in a space provided for answering question itself. Attempts of a question should be considered in a sequential order. That is the first five questions will be selected for the evaluation. And this is the section A and question number one. And the question number one is divided into the five parts. That is the A, B, C, D and E. Now the first sub question is organelles bound by membranes in eukaryotic cells have originated from endosymbiosis of prokaryotic cells explain the statement with the suitable diagram that is you have to explain how membrane bound organelles are originated from the endosymbiosis of prokaryotic cells and you have to give the suitable diagrams and for that you will get the 10 marks although very analytical question but still very easy to answer right now there is a second sub question gray seed color in p is a dominant over the white. In the following experiments, parents with known phenotypes but unknown genotypes produce the following progeny. And they have given the experimental information. And by using the letter G for the gray and small g for the white to give the genotype for the each parent. That is, the, this is problem is based upon the Mendelism and you have to find out the genotype by using the one characteristic that is the color of a seed. The third sub question that is C explain the concept of multiple alleles with examples. That is there is a concept in genetics called as multiple alleles. You have to explain that concept with one example only and for that you will get the 10 marks. Then why RNA is considered as the first living molecule? Discuss the role in origin of life. And straight away this question asks why is RNA considered as the first living molecule? So you have to give the valid points why I RNA considered as a first living molecule by discussing the its role in the origin of life. Alright. Now briefly describe the different methods of gene transfer in plants. Okay. This, so this question coming from the biotechnology part. That is you have to give the different methods in which genes can be transferred into the plants. And again it is a very simple question for that you will get the 10 marks. Now let us see the second question. Second question is divided into three sub question A, B and C. Briefly discuss the cellular function of mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum with required diagram. As we have discussed the paper 1 as well and now we are discussing the paper 2. And you can see how simple questions were asked in a UPSC mains examination. That is in this question you just have to give the cellular function of the mitochondria plus endoplasmic reticulum and you have to draw their well level diagram and for doing this you will get the 20 mark so you can imagine how easy this examination can be all right then how insect resistant transgenic plants develop which gene is used in this technology briefly explain the rationale of technology now see how genetically modified crops for the insect resistance are produced and which gene is used for this technology and you have to write how the insect resistant transgenic plants are developed and then you have to mention which gene is used for such a technology and at last you have to briefly explain the rationale of the technology and for this you will again get the 20 marks then which statistical test is used to determine whether the observed progeny of a cross feeds or differ from the expected values name the test briefly you have to name the statistical test which is used to determine 
whether observed progeny of a cross feed or differs from the expected value and you have to name that test and briefly describe the steps involved in that step and for that you will again get the 10 marks now let us see the third question third question is divided into three sub questions a b and c discuss the role of cyclin dependent protein kinase in controlling the cell cycle explain with the help of diagram now it this is a question from the cell signaling in which we have to discuss the role of cyclin dependent protein kinase you have to discuss the role of this protein kinase in controlling the cell cycle and you have to explain this with the help of suitable diagram and for that you will get the 20 marks then explain the synthetic theory of organic evolution that is this is the simple very straight away question you have to put forward the synthetic theory of organic evolution for that you will get the 10 marks then enumerate the different causes of heterosis that is you have to put forward just the causes of heterosis and for that you will get the 10 marks now explain the importance of the following technique that is the fish technique that is the fluorescence in situ hybridization and the molecular probe and for writing down these two techniques you will get the 10 marks all right now let us see the fourth question now briefly describe the following terms and emphasize their applications that is you have to describe first term and then you have to emphasize their applications first is the restriction endonuclease as you may have familiar with this this is the an enzyme used in the many biotechnological processes that is while transferring the genes the first term is restriction endonuclease you have to just describe this term and emphasize its applications then mutation breeding and then gene mapping all right and for this you will get 15 marks then describe with the suitable diagram the lac operon of bacterium e coli discuss the control mechanism of the operon which produces the enzyme necessary for catabolizing the lactose now you have to give the suitable diagram of lac operon of a bacterium e coli and with this you have to describe the control mechanism of the operon which produces the enzyme necessary for catabolizing the lactose and for this you will get the 20 marks then describe the structure and function of plasmodes matter again a very simple question plasmodes matter is everyone is familiar with this term and you have to give its structure and function and for that you will get the 15 marks now the section b has been started and it is a question number five and you may remember that question number one and question number five are compulsory question that is you have to attempt this question compulsorily and this question is divided into five sub question a b c D and E. You have to explain each of the following. That is, you have to explain the following terms. That is, water potential. For explaining the water potential, you will get the 10 marks. Then, glycolysis, again 10 marks. Phloem loading, again 10 marks. Then, phytogeographical regions of India. And then, components of ecosystem. This compulsory question is so easy that you will get the out of marks in this question. That is, you have to briefly explain the water potential only. Then glycolysis in which glucose is prepared. Then phloem loading and unloading. You must be familiar with the phloem transport. And then phytogeographical regions of India and components of ecosystem in which we have biotic and abiotic components only. So these are very generalized and easy questions asked. And the all the 50 marks are gettable here. That is, you can get the out of marks in these questions. Alright. Now let us see the sixth question. Which is divided into the three sub question A, B, and C. Now, the first question is What is phosphorylation? Differentiate between photophosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. First, you have to put forward what is phosphorylation, then you have to differentiate between photophosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. And for this, you will get the 20 marks. The next is What is red data book? Describe it and discuss various IUCN threat categories. This is a question based on the biodiversity in which we have red data book for the endangered species. We have to discuss this red data book and then we have to discuss the different IUCN threat categories which we have discussed in one of our videos. If you have, I will give I will give you all the links in the description. You can click there all right and for and for this question again we have 20 marks. Then how do plants monitor day length discuss the various categories of plant base on their photoperiodic responses 
what happens when a dark period interrupted by the night break and why that is question this question is from the photoperiodism in which plants respond to the day and night length and uh, you have to be how these plants uh, monitor the day length and then you have to discuss the various categories of plant based photoperiodic responses that is you have to give all the photoperiodic responses and then what happens when dark period is interrupted by the night breaks and why and for this you will get the 10 marks now let us see the seventh question what is ecological succession they discuss the various model describing the mechanism of succession that is simply you have to give the ecological succession and you have to discuss the various models describing the mechanism of succession and for this you will get the 15 marks we have video on this and you can check it out you will directly find the answer for this question then define plant community discuss the various analytical characters of the plant community that you have to define the plant community and their various analytical characters of this plant community and for this you will get the 15 marks then define enzyme prosthetic groups coenzyme isoenzymes and discuss the mechanism of enzyme action this question is totally based upon the enzymes you just have to define first enzyme then prosthetic groups then coenzyme then isoenzyme and after discussing these four terms you have to discuss the mechanism of enzyme action and for this you will get the 20 marks now let us see the eighth question which is which have three sub questions a b and c now the first question describe c4 pathway for co2 fixation discuss the advantages of c4 plants over the c3 plants that is you have to give the c c4 cycle for the co2 fixation first and then you have to discuss the advantages of c4 plants over the c3 plants quite an easy question and for this you will get the 20 marks then what is biodiversity discuss the major strategies for the conservation of biodiversity you have to just write down what is biodiversity and how we can conserve it in which we have discussed the in situ conservation and ex situ conservation in our videos you can check this and you will get the direct answer for this question and again you will have the 15 marks for this question now the last question is define natural forest and mention the name of the forest types covering the maximum area in india discuss the major forest types in india as described by the champion and say again a very generalized and a simple question that is you have to define the natural forest and you have to mention just the name of forest type covering the maximum area of india and then you have to discuss the major forest types of india as described by the champion and the seth all right and for this you will get the 15 marks how is the toughness of this paper whether it is easy medium or tough paper you can mention your thoughts in a comment box we can discuss all this issue there all right so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and please subscribe to the botany option channel for the upsc examination